Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another Zone Tool platform update. I did publish something yesterday on Facebook, and uh, it was my evening, uh, but I simply was asked for dinner, so I didn't have time to make this video. So I just woke up this morning real early at 5 30 a.m. Uh, it's 7 a.m. now, so I got some shit done. Uh, and yeah, now I got some time before taking some user call uh, to publish this video. So I'm going to go straight ahead and um, I'm gonna move over to um, our platform. So the first, uh, and let me go here, the first update is this one. So if you guys now go to the add new button for the PGM and, uh, okay, hold on, let's go, give me a second. Let's go here. All right, so if you go ahead and you go to the add new button for the PGMs, let me finish loading the page. Do, 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 do. All right add new and you go to the negative section of the pgm what you now see will allow you guys to select how you want to add the negative so would you like to add negative exact to your pgms and you select exact or would you like to add negative phrase to your pgms so you're not anymore locked into phrase but we give you the flexibility to choose um, what negative match you want to add the keywords or the negative keywords to your PGNs. And please, as always, keep in mind that whatever action is taken within the add new, uh, the PGN pop-up will uh, be applied across all your PGN. Okay, no, not all your PGNs will be applied across the banana slicer PGN, but within all the campaigns. So we're going to add those negatives either in phrase, like in this case, or in exact, like in this case, to uh, the auto campaign, the phrase campaign, the broad campaign, and the um, exact campaign. So this is the first uh, um, update for today. I have a, a second one. Uh, the second update um, is gonna be the first stage of uh, two or three stages, depends on how Tarek decide to publish them. But basically is our first step into uh, bulk edit, and the second update should come uh, uh, within 24 hours. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you straight away. So let's go at campaign level. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna order by order descending. Let's do like this. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the campaign that has the most sales and data. I'm gonna go straight into um, looking into the customer short term report of this specific campaign. Um, I'm going to apply some smart filters. So let me paginate. I'm going to paginate this. I want to see 100 lines. You guys see 100 by default. Um, I reduce the amount of uh, lines I want to see because I'm working with it on the uh, on screen guides, uh, which is going to be another update that's going to come. Um, I'm working very hard on it. It's something I hate. Uh, but somebody's got to do it, and that's me. So eventually I will make available the guides, but the guides will, I mean, it's always crap here is the guides, but that's for another video. So basically, advanced search, let's go stats. I want to find all the keywords that have an ACOS, uh, seven days, that is within my profitability. So let's call it, um, I don't know, 15% for this product, just to play random. Uh, so lower than or equal to, let's call it, 15 and as well as, as a relevancy uh, trigger of two so i want to see stuff that is at least two sales and for these two i'm gonna um i want to check the order seven same skew right for this specific because they're even more relevant to the product so um is uh, greater than or equal of two order of the same skew i'm gonna search and we're gonna get a bunch of search term hopefully this search is gonna work and it did work and we have specifically 42 results so the search terms are within my ACOS limit and they're highly relevant because I have uh, two orders on the same SKU all right so what what can you do now so ideally you might want to start a PGN with them right so if you want to start a PGN with this order, what you had to do before was, uh, I mean, the first stage of the platform, you had to copy paste them one by one and that's freaking awful. Uh, the second stage, which is the previous update, you would go just ahead and download the CSV Excel file and copy them from there. 
Now, with a bulk edit, you, have, you see the boxes, you just select all of them and add new. And let's say you want to create a new PGN out of those uh, keywords, you just click here. And as you see, they are already populated over here, okay? Which is, uh, it seems extremely simple to you guys and a no-brainer, but it, 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 it took some time for us to, to get it done. So we're very, 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 very happy of this achievement. Um, yeah, and of course, you go ahead, you write whatever you want to write um, on the PGM and you save it. And we're going to create a PGM with the filter data that you uh, bulk selected. Other actions that you can take, you can simply add the same term you selected over here. You can add them as keywords to existing PGMs if you want to. All right, so let's say you're, um, why would you need this one? Because uh, let's say you have a relevancy trigger of two on a PGM. Uh, periodically, once a week, you might want to go inside the PGM customer search term report. You may want to filter all the customer search terms that have received, uh, that have um, ACOS within your tracer, but it's only one sale. And you might want to go uh, one by one manually and figure out which one you want to uh, manually mine in order to speed up the learning process of the machine and so you will tick the boxes you will come here you will oh, let me start from the beginning add new add those terms and keywords we auto populate them here you will simply select the pgn and you will boom save and we will add those terms as keywords in the way we do it which is broad phrase exact matches in the broad and phrase and exact campaign as well as phrase negative in a broad campaign as well as uh, um, exact negative in a phrase campaign and the last step of this functionality is what a little bit of what i showed you earlier uh, which was how to add terms uh, as negative now in order to add terms as negative i'm going to simply run a different search so i'm going to reset the search for the reset button And I'm going to start a search afresh. Uh, I'm going to once more paginate by 100. Again, this pagination stuff that you guys don't have to do it. It's just for my test account. And OK. So advanced. So this time, and I hope to find some. We are looking for any term that I received uh, less than one order okay order seven is lower than one okay and spend assuming i'm selling this item for i don't know 10 bucks and uh ad spend is greater than nine dollars okay so i'm gonna look everything that has less than one order which means zero orders and let us spend more than nine bucks which is 9.1 or anything above and i'm gonna simply search advance um again we see a test account so perhaps we don't get any term oh I and mean, we actually we do get some terms oh we got a lot of terms all right so those in my opinion should be negated all right, those are terms that didn't generate any sales, but costed you already more than what you're selling a product for, assuming you're selling for 10 bucks. So this is shit that you wanna get rid of as soon as possible. Um, of course, if you're running a PGN, we do this for you. But uh, if you're not running a PGN, or if you're uh, moving data, moving intelligence from a non-PGN to a PGN, it's something that you might have to do it manually. So um i single out all the terms with zero sales and more than 10 bucks spend or nine bucks spend i'm gonna select all of them and i'm gonna go add new and i'm gonna i want to add them to a pgn that i might have just created in order not to spend again on them not to let the machine again waste money once more on this term since i already have intelligence from my previous experience with this term i go here i select whatever pgn i want to add them as you see we are again we auto populate this field over here um, as i showed you earlier now we allow you to choose phrase or exact in this specific case i will definitely use simply the ex negative exact match and i will save and we will push uh, 
was negative terms across all of the ecosystem, the PGM ecosystem, or the specific PGM, which in this example is a banana slicer. Um, let me go back this. So, guys, so for today and for now, um, that's it. Um, please keep in touch, stay connected, because I believe within the next uh, about 48 hours, we're going to uh, go live with, uh, uh, with uh, our major update, which is a bulk edit. Uh, we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna allow you to take a lot, a lot, a lot of manual action within uh, your campaigns, uh, both biddings and rules and a lot of stuff. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I see you in the next live uh, um, live update. Thank you for watching.